Hello Citizen, Haversite here once again for part three in a video series on learning to play Star Citizen. In this video, we are gonna go over the basic movement controls that you're gonna to need to know to get moving and out and about in the world of Star Citizen. It can be a little bit daunting at first to get the hang of things, so I hope you find this information informative. Now, once you load into the game for the very, very first time, you're gonna awake in your habitat bed on your residency, the first planet that you picked in the last video. Now you're awake in the habitat. Standard FPS controls apply, so if you're used to first person shooters, then you're pretty much gonna catch on quick. So, you can move your camera, so you move your head, just by moving your mouse. Go to the right, go to the left, up, and all around. Simples. So that's for general head movements. Press and hold Y to get up, or W, which is forward, and that will get you out of bed. So to move forward, we go W and backwards with S, W, A, S, D, standard controls, as I said. Left is A, to move to the left, and then D is to move to the right. We can interact with the world around us by holding F and highlighting options within the world. They'll highlight green, and then if you've got an item that you can interact with, you will have the option to click it, and you will complete that action. So for example, we just sat down. Now we could have laid down. So the, all the options are there, just click which one you want. Exit the room using the interact button. And then you can start making your way into the world of Star Citizen. But let's go through some more controls first, because you're going to want to know them. Press F4 to change camera mode. And you can hold Z and then move the mouse while holding Z to move the camera around your character. Space bars to jump. Control will crouch. And X will make you lay down, go prone, crawl. You can press and hold shift to sprint. You can increase your speed by increasing the mouse wheel up and down. And that will change your speed limiter. That applies in planes and spaceships as well. Let's talk about some menus that we have. You can open up the Moby glass with F1. This displays all your player stats, your currency, name, etc. The F2 button will open up the map function of the Moby glass. Once you're in the Moby glass, however, there are option tabs at the very bottom that allows you to scroll through and change the menus. So there's different options from vehicle loadout manager to the MO trader, which allows you to send your hard-earned cash to other friendly players or your enemies, depending on how you play. There's also a contracts manager that allows you to select different missions that you have available. The higher your reputation with the factions will obviously display more missions if you're lucky. Then there's also a vehicle maintenance services tab, which allows you to repair and rearm your ship, but you have to be in a ship to access this menu. There's also then a reputation panel, so you can see your hard-earned reputation status. To exit the Moby Glass, I generally tap F1 or F2 twice, but there is an X button in the top right corner. If you use I, it will open up your infantry. And then you can right click on items to open up the item menus for those items. If an item like a clothing item or a piece of gear has an open option, which means it has an inventory slot, you can use that to open the inventory slot. You don't have to be wearing it. Press I again to exit the infantry. If you press F12, it will show the chat box and it will also hide it. With the chat box open, you can press enter to display the text box to type in your message and then press enter to send it. Click I to open your infantry and then to remove items from your person, just click on the item and drag it to your infantry. That will pop it straight into the infantry. 
To force a respawn, you can hold the backspace button and it will instantly kill you and send you to your respawn location. This is handy for bugs or any issues you might have. Or maybe you just want a quick, quick respawn. Thank you for watching today's video. That is the end of basic movement controls on Star Citizen. I hope you found it informative. In the next video, we'll be going over getting to the starport, your first mission in Star Citizen. We need to get to the starport to get access to our ships. I'll see you in the next video.